Joining me now is Andrew Robethan, Lord Robethan, who is a former Conservative Armed Forces Minister. Uh, you're very good to join us. Thank you for doing so. Let's start with the protest this Saturday. Uh, is it an insult to the armed forces and veterans that the pro-Palestinian march is going ahead? What's your uh, perspective on that, Lord well, Robethan? Well, uh, as a former serviceman, I don't think it's an insult, but I think... <laughs> I think with your last caller, these people are deeply misguided at best. Um, there are absolutely, definitely Hamas supporters who are essentially celebrating or supporting people who, um, the mass murder of Jews. And I find that uh, embarrassing, shaming, disgraceful um, in my country. At the same time, there's a lot of people who think, oh, the poor Palestinians, and they are poor Palestinians. They, they really are. They, they have a rotten life. Not least because they they have the most shockingly bad the government in uh, the West Bank with the, um, uh, the Palestinian, Palestinian Authority. Authority. Um, yeah. It's terrible. Actually, I was there in last in June, and we heard from various Palestinians how they were desperate to get rid of uh, Abbas um, and and get a decent democratic elected government. I don't think they've had elections since two thousand and five, but I might be wrong. Um, on the in Gaza, there certainly haven't been elections in, 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 in there certainly haven't been elections in Gaza since 2005. So you're absolutely right on no, that. Exactly. Um, there, exactly. There, there is uh, there is a humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza. Of uh, course, there's a humanitarian catastrophe. Catastrophe, but that that is because uh, Hamas used yeah, uh, absolutely the people of Gaza as as human shields, as indeed they use the hostages. Now, if if there were to be a ceasefire, Hamas would regroup. I mean, I'm a former soldier. That's exactly what they want. Mm. They want people to allow them to regroup and to, to come back. And what, what on earth do people think they did on October the 7th? They went and they massacred people, the worst massacre of Jews since uh, 45. Mm. It's absolutely shocking. And you get these people, Lenin referred to useless, useful idiots. I think other people refer to them as, as well. Useful idiots that supported the communists because they thought they were doing a good, good job. These are exactly the same, useful idiots. And they need to look at themselves in the mirror and think, what the hell are they uh, supporting? You know the military, you know what terrorism is. Uh, you know government as well, Lord Robethan. I wonder if you think that the government has, ha has, your party has actually handled this well over the past few days, because you have what we're talking about is the political row, as well as the morality, the uh, nature of whether this should go ahead or not. We've got a Home Secretary in one corner criticizing the police. You've got the Prime Minister under pressure because of this possibly up to between 70 and 100,000 people marching in London tomorrow and those over the weekend, both on Saturday, Armistice Day, and on Sunday, Remembrance Sunday, who want to remember the war dead. How do we get here, and is it right that this march goes ahead? And tell us your thoughts on the government's <laughs> handling of it. Well, I think we've got here over flawed um, policies over decades and decades. Uh, we have allowed uh, people to set up, essentially to set up separate communities where they do not share our values in any shape or form. Uh, people that are marching uh, on um, Saturday, uh, th what on earth they think they're doing? If they're not supporting Hamas, they are supporting them by proxy, if I can put it that way. Um, the, they perhaps uh, don't mean how to, do we get, but actually... Get it better? I don't know how we get it better. Yeah, it's a, it's a really tough conundrum. Lord Robotham, thank you very much indeed, Andrew Robotham, their former Armed Forces Minister. I mean, he's right, isn't he, yes. Candace? Yes. Well, I mean, he used the term useful idiots. And it's so true when you look at that clip of those two women who said, oh, I didn't know Hamas had any involvement in this. And you think, well, actually, Hamas, people with links to Hamas may be involved in organising these marches. Yes. In trying to shape international perception or international criticism of Israel for their own purposes. Mm. So you are being a useful idiot. Yeah.